Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about multi-step inequalities, and we're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, negative 2, I have parentheses, 2 minus 2x, minus 4 times x plus 5, is less than or equal to a negative 24, okay? Alright, so my first thing I want to do is I'm going to distribute. So negative 2 times 2 is a negative 4. Negative 2 minus 2, you know, times a negative 2x is a positive 4x. Now make sure when we distribute that minus sign goes to both parts. So 4 times x here is minus 4x. And then 4 times 5 is a negative 20, right? That minus sign needs to go to both parts. is less than or equal to negative 24. Well, let's combine our like terms here. Well, 4x minus 4x is just 0, right? So we can have negative 4 so plus 0 minus 20 is less than or equal to negative 24. And then negative 4 plus 0 is nothing. Um, minus 20 is a negative 24. So a negative 24 is less than or equal to a negative 24. Okay? Well, that's it. There's no more variable. And is this a true statement? Is negative 24 less than or equal to a negative 24? And that is true. That is a true statement, right? because they can equal each other, okay? And so since that's a true statement, right, true statement, we're good, our answer is all real numbers. All real numbers, okay? Meaning that any number that we plug in for x here, any real number, that will make this a true statement. So all real numbers work. So how do we graph that? So I have my number line here, 0, 1, or 2, 4, 6, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6. Well, how I graph this is actually, I just draw a line and an arrow on both sides showing that all real numbers, every number, that's any real number that could possibly exist, would work for this equation or this inequality, making it true. Okay? So our graph matches our final answer of all real numbers. So let's recap. We're given negative 2 in parentheses, 2 minus 2x in parentheses, minus 4 times parentheses, x plus 5 in parentheses, less than or equal to negative 24. I distributed both of them, giving me negative 4 plus 4x, minus 4x minus 20, make sure you bring that minus distribute to both parts, is less than or equal to negative 24. I now combined the 4x and minus 4x, so I just saw it right there really quickly, gave me 0. So now I have negative 4 plus 0 minus 20 is less than or equal to negative 24. I then combined negative 4 and a negative 20 give me a negative 24, then it's less than or equal to a negative 24 right there. All right. So now we have, well, negative 24 is less than or equal to negative 24. That is a true statement. So that's, that's a true statement. My answer here is all real numbers, meaning all real numbers can plug in for x, making this a true statement. So how do I graph that? So I put my number line here, and I just put arrows, a little straight line with the arrows going both directions, showing that any real number on the number line uh, is a solution, okay? So our graph here matches our final answer, which is all real numbers.